to Donovan being able to make those contested catches like he did? I think Donovan's put himself in position to be real successful on the field because of what he's done prior to the game. He's, his preparation has been outstanding. And when I talk about preparation, there's a lot of things that go in preparation. And one of the things is your fundamental preparation. And he's worked extremely hard uh, to be fundamentally sound in catching the football. Uh, he's worked hard in all areas, but that's been an area that he's really focused in on. And he's got ability. You know, he has ability to make contested and difficult catches because of his size and his catch skills. So obviously, he has the ability, but uh, he also has worked extremely hard to make sure he's consistent in that area. And it showed up in the Carolina game. Going down to get those low balls, I mean, that would seem to be kind of a high degree of difficulty. I mean, is that true? Yeah, it is. I mean, and I think that when you have receivers that can make the contested difficult catches, especially when you're facing teams that are going to play tight man coverage and, and schematically do some things to try to make it difficult on you, you're going to have to have the ability to make the difficult catches. And fortunately, with a player like Donovan, he, he's been very good in that area, and we consider it a strength and, and sure glad to have him. How about Amari? Just maybe talk a little bit about his game and how he was able to contribute, maybe not necessarily always on catches, but the other stuff too. Yeah, he, he had great contributions in the last game. I think he did a good job of beating man coverage. And, and although uh, he didn't catch the ball, there were three occasions in which he drew a penalty from the defense that were critical plays in the game. So, you know, Amari is exceptional a route runner, and he's been one that has consistently beat man coverage in, in, in his career. And it showed up uh, last week. And we're really going to rely on him to be a tremendous route runner and one that we can have the advantage of when they play man coverage. And does he get extra coverage now that he's you know, your wide receiver number one, more so than he maybe he did last year when he was with CD? Yeah, I, I think that any time you have a receiver that's being successful versus man coverage, that he's going to bring attention uh, from the opponent's defense. Uh, so. You know, I think every week is different and every defensive scheme is different on what they choose to do to try to defend him. Uh, but certainly, uh, he's been consistent in beating man coverage. And uh, you know, it's a big part of what he does for us. You notice a, a, a difference in Anthony this week, just in terms of being able to go out there and make a couple plays on Sunday. Had to, you know, he even said it. It took some of the extra baggage off. He felt off of his shoulders. Have you noticed a difference in him? Yeah, I mean, Anthony, again, he's another player that's worked really hard and tried to do everything we've asked him to do and, and try to improve daily. And when you go in the game and you can catch the ball and, and have some success, you know, it, it brings some confidence. And, and I think that Anthony has had a great week of practice this week. He's been very consistent. And I, I look forward to, to, to seeing him here in the near future. Did you do anything special or specific to help him kind of get through those that drop period he had during the preseason? Yeah, I mean, we with with Anthony and all of our receivers, we go back just to the fundamentals and really try to put an emphasis on what we believe uh, that you need to do fundamentally to catch the ball. So I, I wouldn't say that we uh, did anything that was extremely different. Uh, we just fell back on what we really believe as teachers and coaches to try to, to get him to be consistent in catching the ball. Did you have any other examples for him of receivers, good receivers that had amazing careers that went through a similar slump that you were able to? Yeah, not, not necessarily. You know, we, we just always talk to our players about the power of positive thoughts and, and uh, they're here for a reason because they bring something to the Cleveland Browns, as, you know, in particular offensively that's a strength. And we try to really accentuate their strengths and, and, and uh, talk to them about, you know, how important that those things are, but not necessarily one in particular that we have used as an example with Anthony. Uh, Coach, we talk a lot about, like, the O-line and the tight ends when it comes to the run game, but, like, you know, obviously your guys are important too when you have a big game like that. So how are your guys in the run game? Yeah, yeah I mean, we, we stress that at the receiver position. I know that I personally take a lot of pride in that as a coach of, of how we do in the run game. I think it's the ultimate display of team football is, you know, we, we talk a lot about our receivers getting open and catching the ball, but we also talk about competing in the run game. And especially with an accomplished run game as we have with great runners and a great offensive line here, you know, it's really important that, that we do our job in the run game and that we're able to finish blocks 
be fundamentally sound and play with great effort. They know it's an emphasis point with, uh, with our team, and they do take a lot of pride in that. Where's David Bell with his comfort level and development, given the fact that you know he missed that start of training camp? Yeah, I think that it's a work in progress when you have a rookie receiver, and then to play in the slot, there's a lot of moving parts for, for young players. So uh, he's doing a good job. He's getting better every day. Um, you know, I, I think that he's been on the field. He's been on the field. He's been available to get better every day. He certainly has done that. I've seen him improve. I've seen growth, and hopefully that trend continues. In terms of Jacoby, uh, it was obvious that you know he he missed a lot of guys in that game. What gives you the confidence to believe that it's going to be a lot better this weekend, just between him and the receivers? Yeah, I mean, I think that the passing game is always a work in progress, and uh, it takes other players uh, other than the quarterback to have great execution. Obviously, the receivers are a big part of that. So there's certainly a lot of areas that we can improve on from the first week moving forward into this second week. Uh, we've worked really hard this week. Our, our players have a tremendous amount of confidence in Jacoby. Um, you know, he's... He's done such a good job of, of working hard and, and, and really trying to be on the same page with our receivers. Uh, they do respect him a lot, and uh, you know I'm, I'm glad he's playing quarterback for us. I at least one time that you had three tight ends lined up almost in, the, in a trips formation with Jesse. Um, how much, without obviously giving away gameplay, but but how much does flexibility does like a guy like Jesse give you in terms of what you can do with with like three tight end sets? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that any time a player uh, can ha play in multiple roles or we can do multiple things within our offense, it's helpful, beneficial. The tight ends are certainly a big part of what we do here offensively. And to be able to use those and change up the personnel groupings is very beneficial to our to our offense. How about Michael? Um, do a couple more. Michael's, you know, been sick and had the hamstring. I mean, does what are the chances of him being able to catch up and kind of get himself back onto track? Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he hasn't been with us because he's had some sickness, and you know, his goal now is to just get back here, get on the practice field, continue in his development. So, um, you know, that's all we're asking him to do. Um, you know, his his availability is obviously based on his amount of time he can get out there on the practice field and get ready for us. So I look forward to just him, you know, continuing to develop and working hard and doing what we've asked him to do. I know the individual receivers study the guy they're going to go against the corners. How much time as a group do you guys spend, like, looking at the Jets' corners and kind of breaking out? The yeah, we spend a considerable amount of time studying the opponent's uh, defensive backs. It's a big part of our process. Uh, the players are very diligent in their preparation that they do uh, away from the building and studying the defensive backs that we're playing. So we, we're very thorough in that area and need to be because I think it's very important that you know the guy you're going for. So Amari is the leader of the group in that area. He really uh, has done a great job of, of educating all of our room on how to study DBs and, and how to get an edge if you really put the work in during the week prior to Sunday.